everyone. Uh, I just want to make a really quick video. I'm working on some paintings right now and I'm using this technique um, that I sometimes use. If you hear my dog barking upstairs, I apologize. Um, anyway, uh, I use this technique uh, once in a while and I thought maybe I should show you guys because it's a nice little thing you can do for your clouds. Uh, what I like to do is take golden heavy gel medium the matte form uh, and I like to paint with it straight out of the jar so what you want to do is have all your cloud formation set up with shadows highlights all that uh, but you don't want your brightest highlights put in yet so what I like to do for my next step once I have all the forms put in and it's now the time to start highlighting the clouds to give the three-dimensional uh, shape to them. What I like to do is paint using the gel medium, which is it's a whitish kind of color when it's wet, but it dries clear and hazy. So um, what's going to happen is I've already got a lot on here already. I just thought I'd make this video last minute. Uh, what I like to do is when I'm highlighting, I've got my light source going left to right here and I'm highlighting out towards my light source. This does two things when you paint with just the gel medium by itself, not mixed with any color. First thing it does is it creates texture. The heavy gel medium's purpose is to create thicker textures in your paint. And it's supposed to dry clear, so you can just add it and create texture to your colors. Um, the second thing it does is, like I said, it dries clear and it also dries hazy. Now, an important aspect to clouds is their hazy nature because they're floating through the sky uh, and all that. So by painting with the gel medium directly where our highlights are, we create the texture. And as you see, if I move into dark areas, it kind of creates just this hazy look. Um, so we're kind of conquering two things with the gel medium uh, with your clouds and that's creating texture and haziness around the edges. So what I like to do is paint in all my highlight areas. I go over with probably three or four layers of the gel medium. I like to work it down into the shadows because sometimes in the shadows it creates kind of this purple hazy color which is really nice for clouds. And I really just load it on and then I let it dry, see how much of it became transparent, and then layer again. And then in my final layers, I like to add a little bit of color to my gel medium and create highlights. Probably a little bit of white and burnt sienna for this painting because those are the primary colors that I'm using in this piece. Um, so that's just a quick tip for today. So just to recap really quickly, heavy gel matte medium from Golden, it will create texture and hazy edges in your clouds. And you're painting with it directly, not mixing any colors in with it. Normally you'd mix colors in uh, the medium, but I use it directly to create these nice hazy luminous highlights in my clouds. So that's it for this video, just a quick tip for today. I uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.